when society returns to normal and shows are a thing again, will you, do you have a stable? Will you be managing anybody? When the world begins to return and we are allowed to do promotions and in-person shows, um, I'm really looking forward to that time because I think that after Effie's Big Gate Brunch and with the connections that I made there, the world is going to be my oyster because the benefit of a show like Effie's Big Gate Brunch is he brought together the cream of the crop of LGBTQ plus performers from all over the United States. Mm -hmm. And we all had the opportunity to work together, to become friends, to network, to cheer each other on and support each other. And I hope that when we are running shows here in Northern California, I'll be able to bring some of my friends that I've made at that time in to do those shows. And I hope that they will want to bring me to wherever they are. You know, that would, I think mm -hmm. that would be so much fun. But when we return, my hope is that I'll be working with more than one organization here. There's a number of Northern California professional wrestling organizations and promotions that I would love to work with. Mm -hmm. And my goal, fingers crossed, would be that at some point I get to do a heel turn and have a heel stable. That's that okay. that's where I live. That's where that's where I need to be. I know that. So I just want to go on record. If you if you haven't put any thought into a name, Estee Slaughter. Hey. Estee Slaughter. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Mm. Estee Slaughter. That's I like that as a I like that as a drag name. It's also a good roller derby name if you decide to go into That's a different Estee career Slaughter. path. Slaughter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Estee Slaughter. I like it. I wonder if there would be a cease and desist. I work in the beauty industry outside of you know all of this. I'm like, uh, I wonder what my friends at, at the, the actual Estee Lauder would think of this. But I think Estee Slaughter is amazing. Mm. Who who would be in Estee Slaughter? Who's your top five? You need a tag team. You need a champion. You need an enforcer, and then there's always arm candy. It doesn't have to be that order, but it should be something close to that. I don't know. That's a it's a tough one because well, let's narrow the window then down to to your NorCal squad. If uh, I would love to build my NorCal sw squad out, I want to bring people in. So the the group that I would love to have, I'm just gonna go on record. I want Effie and Zicky Dice. Mm -hmm. I already gave them a tag team name. It's two in the pink. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it. Effie and Zicky are my tag team. MV Young is my enforcer. And then I think that AC Mack would be my arm candy. And uh, he's really, really talented in the ring. And then I would like to have the whole thing, the strings for the whole thing being pulled by the Dark Sheik. Oh, fascinating. Ooh. Hmm. Dark Sheik is the mastermind behind behind all of Hood Slam. Hugely successful promotion here in Northern California. One that I've been clamoring to be part of for a really long time. If it's possible to be in love with somebody just based on their mind and what they bring and present to the world, I'm in love with Dark Sheik. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with what she represents. I'm in love with the way she thinks. I'm in love with how chill she is about everything, but chill without... Um, being oblivious you know what I mean some people are just like so chill because they pay no attention and they're like so Ugh. not at all she is she's brilliant and yeah it went from being impressed by and a fan of to in love with the dark sheik she's just everything 